Hi, second graders. It's Miss Erickson here. We are going to read this amazing book called May Among the Stars. Little May was a dreamer. They say that dreamers never succeed, but little May was different. One day, May was working on an assignment for school about what she wanted to be when she grows up. What will you tell them, May? I will tell them I want to see Earth. This is Earth, May, her mother said. The flowers, the grass, the forest, and the mountains. We live on Earth. I know, but I want to see Earth from out there. That's an amazing plan, little May. Then you have to become an astronaut. That way you can see Earth from space. An astronaut? Do you think I could do that? Of course you can. If you can dream it, if you can believe it, and work hard for it, anything is possible. May asked her mom to take her to the library, so she searched for books about space and astronauts. After dinner, May drew pictures of space, and she even made her own astronaut costume out of old orange curtains and cardboard boxes. Later, she asked her dad, but how do I become an astronaut? It seems impossible. You'll find your way, May, because if you dream it, believe in it, and work hard for it, anything is possible. But space is so, so, so far away. It's closer than you think, little May, and you may get this may get there sooner than you think. That night, May had a happy dream. She was dancing in space, surrounded by billions of sparkly stars. Below her, she could see Earth, floating and turning and spinning like a crystal ball. The next morning, May told her parents about her dream. Her eyes would light up. She wanted to tell everyone, and every time she talked about it. In the classroom, Miss Bell told everyone to stand in line on the rug. Today, we are going to share our dreams about the future. What do you want to be? And what do you want to do when you grow up? Who wants to go first? I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a teacher, a football player. I want to be a mom. I want to go to space. I want to be an astronaut. All the kids started laughing. Miss Bell asked May, are you sure you want to be a nurse? Did it want to be a nurse? Nursing would be good profession for someone like you. I don't want to be a nurse. I want to be an astronaut. May felt very disappointed. On her way home from school, May was quiet. She looked out the window. Her world turned blue and cold. Nothing was the way it used to be. At home, May started to cry. Miss Bell said I couldn't become an astronaut. What a silly thing to say, said her mother. She told me I should be a nurse instead, said May. Her mom wiped away her tears. My dear mom, I hope you don't believe her. My dear May, I hope you don't believe her. Of course I believe her. She's my teacher. I'm sorry, Maybelle. Didn't encourage you, but she couldn't stop you. No one can stop you. Follow your dreams, May, and go to space. Thank you, Mom. I promise when I get to space, I will wave to you and Dad from the spaceship.
Her mom took her hand and they started dancing. Her most, you must always repeat to yourself, if I can dream it, if I can believe in it, and if I work hard for it, anything is possible. May went on dreaming, believing, and working really hard. And guess what? She went to space and waved to her mom and dad on Earth. The end. Now, just remember, second graders, if you dream it, if you believe in it, and work hard, anything is possible, because I believe in you guys. Bye.